what does the custodian of the future look like? I'm catching up with Tony Steak here at Orion Ascent to learn a little bit more. Tony, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me, Shannon. Always a pleasure. Absolutely. So let's talk all things Entrusty and the custodian of the future. What's the ethos behind it all? So the ethos is it's pretty simple, right? When you look at the custodial application, it is like kind of the, the core, right? Every advisor needs a custodian. What we've seen is over time, because of that, there's been a bit of neglect, right, of what the custodian does for the advisor and the end investor. And so kind of the ethos behind Entrusty is that we're trying to change that, right? Go back to the noble beginnings of what a custodian should do for the advisor. And in our case, we're looking at it from a, an advisor efficiency perspective, right? So being more frictionless, right, providing frictionless services, uh, better customer service, and ultimately just a delightful technology. Well, it makes sense to me because really the custodian's the central hub for the advisor, right? So they should be able to move seamlessly throughout their applications. Yeah, it's not only from a data play, but just, just how you are working on any given day, right? You're in the custodian, you're in Orion's you know, portfolio management tool, you're in all these tools. So are they talking well with one another? Is it more than just a single sign-on? Are we talking about a meaningful integration of how those two technologies talk to each other? Because if we can reduce those frictions, those burdens, that gives the advisor more time to do what they love, helping his or her clients achieve financial freedom. And when you look at it this way, there's a statistic this morning that said 20% of an advisor's time is actually dedicated to the client, the rest is back office. See, that, that still makes no sense to it's me. It's insane. How can we help that? How can we improve that with creating frictionless workflows, leveraging natural language processing, just those types of ideas and mindset for the custodian of the future. And so yeah, I'm curious, being a tech forward firm and being a new player in the space, what the adoption of technology like the natural language processing or AI have really come into play and has it made you more nimble? So um, we got to start from scratch, right? It was a clean whiteboard. There was no, well, we had to deal with this code base or this functionality. We looked at every stone as we kind of built the application and the processes and said, why do they do it this way? Why is that necessary? And when you start leveraging natural language processing, think of the speed at which you can get to the data point you want on any given day. And so that, that assistant that we're using for the tool, uh, it's called VIA, Virtual Entrusted Assistant, um, can remove all those mundane tasks and shorten them from, say, minutes, hours, or days down to seconds. And last question, what's one thing you want folks to know about Entrusty? if you could pick one thing? One thing, geez. <laughs> It's tough. Not to put you in the hot seat, um, but I'm going to. <laughs> we're building a custodian for the RA. That's, that's really what it is. Our ethos is everything we're doing has the RA in mind, right? We're not, it's not for somebody else. It's not for some um, line item or anything else. This is literally the custodian of the RA. I hope that, that that's, if anything from this conversation, that's what it is. Well, makes sense to me, Tony. It's always a pleasure catching up with you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Shannon. For WealthManagement.com, I'm Shannon Rosick.